Well, today, we're working on this mini. The little hose broke, it's for the outgoing jib out. I'm spraying oil everywhere, very pain, very big pain. And like minis, you know, everything is super compact, like a compact car, so you gotta take a bunch of stuff off just to get access to it. So I finally figured out how to get this piece off. I got the bolts loose and I'm gonna take it off. And it needs a good cleaning too. It's full of mud. Oh yeah. Oh, a lot of mud. One thing with these equipment, you know, even though you don't use them that much, stuff just breaks by sitting there, you know? Stuff gets old. We're gonna give her a good cleaning. Get all that stuff out of there. I guess the plus side, you know, with this extra dirt, you know, you add more weight to your machine so you can dig and pick up more heavier things, but it's got to be cleaned. Oh, I mean, it's stuff hard as concrete. Right now, what we can see in there, you can see what's going on. All right, let me start this off so you can see what hose is squirting. Come on. Very dangerous. You should have two people doing that while you're doing this. Let's see. Oh, wrong way. Oh, see that squirt? Oh, found her victim. Right there, that red one. Small hose, so, you know, it won't be as much money which is a good thing, but let's hope that it leads to somewhere that's easy access as well. Doesn't take an hour to get to, you know? That would be a good thing. I always gotta find that right wrench. See if I have it. You know, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't have my snap-on set, you know, and I don't 
sit at the local hardware store and, you know, debate which tools are better, you know. Just not my cup of tea and I got time, I don't have time for that. I gotta do better things, you know. Let's see. Oh yeah. Of course, you know. Oh, oh yeah, came easy. I'm thinking it's flat faced. Oh yeah, flat faced. And it's dripping, isn't it, huh? Gotta get a plug cap for that. That's one thing, you know, if you're not a mechanic, you don't always have the caps needed. That ain't gonna work. You need something a little bit stronger, tighter. Let's see if this one will work. I'm gonna lose all my oil. Oh, Ooh, I think it's gonna do it. Oh yeah. Hey, at least slow it down to a drip instead of a river. Now we gotta find out where this thing goes. All kinds of zip ties and all that stuff. You gotta cut that stuff off. Get after it. Well, there was the fitting right on top there snake through all that stuff it's like to work on these type of machines minis are great right but that also means everything is miniaturized everything's compact like you need to be a mouse with the strength of a freaking ape to work on these things very frustrating so here's the hose right here not too long very small three eighths hose flat face and just nothing was wearing on it. just over time that these things just blow you know it's just nowhere there's nothing rubbing it just blew you know I don't know if there's like little defects in these hoses sometimes I mean it's cap made hose and this is kind of a low pressure hose too it's just for the solenoids for the uh, joystick so it isn't very high pressure so who knows, we'll have to go to Napa and hopefully they have the fitting. But man, it's, it is also one thing I like to add that it, here in Florida being a mechanic and you have to work outside, it is ridiculous. The heat, I mean, look, look at my hands. That's all sweat from, you know, 10 minutes of working on that thing with gloves on. I mean, it is ridiculously hot out here. That's why you get stuff all over your face because you're trying to wipe the sweat, you know. But enough of that. But we'll see if Napa has a new hose. All right, got the new hose. 60, 6,000 PSI. Super heavy duty hose that doesn't really need to be like that because it is only pushing oil from the joystick valve down to the solenoid, which runs and opens the main valve that actually lets, that flows oil to the function on the boom. So let's get this installed. Make sure to put duct tape over your ends or something so it doesn't get full of crap.
Well, that's that a lot more easier to reinstall because I didn't have to search for the hose that was broken. Now I'll just start it up and make sure it doesn't leak. It should be good to go.